Hey guys, what's going on? Good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh once again. Today I'm doing two reviews. Uh, after the two long, long videos of my collection, uh, I really took a long time and I uh, kind of like it was very messy. But I just wanted to update it for 2020. Very difficult to take out everything and put it out there and put it back. Uh, so I did it like as they were. So I hope you could hear and see. Uh, sorry for the dust and all that on the bottle. It's Bangladesh. We have uh, so much dust here. So even if your room's closed, they come in. So today I uh, want to carry on with my reviews. I have about a uh, lot of samples. I bought few decans. I got some gifts and I got few full bottles, women's perfume. So I'm going to mix it up. I'm going to try to finish them one by one. I wrote them down. So uh, first one was Karl Lagerfeld for him, uh, Purom. Uh, ET and this one's gonna be one legendary perfume or a fragrance that has a lot of uh, love from people since 2006 so you're gonna be uh, reviewing from this sample that was uh, purchased from the Dickens house my brother Shafi Bhai who owns this page he has this perfume so I asked for this one and one more that will review in time so thank you Shafi Bhai for the beautiful Dickan. Uh, I got it within a day uh, thanks to the e-courier so this fragrance uh, a lot, th lot of things to say but I try to keep it short because I don't have a full bottle and don't have to show you the presentation but this one they come with really really excellent spray I have it on my hand I'll let you know uh, what I feel about this fragrance should you be looking at it if it's uh, worthy of purchase in 2020 like 14 years later so CK Euphoria first of all let me start at some point Calvin Klein is a house it's really favorite house of mine Calvin Klein offers a lot of fragrances on budget and most of the fragrances are affordable that's why people like them Many people bought them and they sell a lot. So they also have their you know, clothing line, they have their watches. Uh, they have a lot of things under this designer house. Then uh, Calvin Klein has fragrance for both men and women and then they have the unisex ones. Okay, second thing. Third thing I wanna say, Calvin Klein fragrances, they have flankers after flankers. They are like the house of flankers. They have CK1, flankers are like 10,000 flankers. <laughs> and then and they have CK1 uh, summers line, every year they release. Uh, they have you know my favorite is CK reveal obsession go on all day so euphoria is one line let me show you the bottle and i'll just carry on with the review euphoria came in this bottle design if you do not know by now uh, looks very nice 100 ml and they have smaller bottle but the side ones you know this thing are kind of loose so uh, not the most posh feeling bottle i reviewed CK euphoria intense check it out and i did try CK euphoria liquid cold that was very spicy like bulgari man in black but the intense one was not very long lasting. Like in my opinion, it was like four hours on total on my skin. So let's see if this is weaker because this is the first release it has to be weaker, right? Uh, let's see, let's uh, spray this and talk about it. Let's go two sprays, let's go two more. This is uh, back in the time, this is everything. Like 2006, I think this was the fragrance, like people say, Savage of that time. This was Blood Chanel, like a blue DNA. I can kind of see that, but it's not really a blue perfume. This fragrance is more like a fresh, spicy amber scent. And the uh, freshness comes from, I think, is the sage and the mint. So the mint, it's kind of like a very nice mint. Not bad at all, it's very nice opening. I get kind of like a peppery, uh, minty sort of opening and you can detect some citruses could be bergamot or orange, I'm not sure, but it has like a synthetic, very nice opening. I don't want to use synthetic in a negative way. Do not take it negative like, oh, synthetic means it's a bad pass. No, some synthetic fragrances are good. I have a video coming up soon. 10 top fragrances, top 10 fragrances that are synthetic but smells good uh, because synthetic is not always a bad thing. So this is not a bad thing. Okay, some people, I would think they're not gonna like it because it's a little bit different. It's a little bit different than typical your other fragrances. It has spices like ginger, so the amber will pop up later. It's a sweet, fresh kind of a perfume. So back in 2006, a lot of people rocked it. In Bangladesh, India, I know many people love this. And this was kind of like their go-to fragrance for going out, meeting friends, uh, say clubbing, uh, or let's say dating. This was their fragrance. They would swear by CK Euphoria. So it was nice name. I like the name. Uh, this fragrance today, uh, longevity, people say they get very spotty longevity on my skin. I don't know how it, it gave me the same performance and the intense four hours i got four hours total longevity but did not really push after one hour one hour projection uh, you expect to get three to four hours of longevity so this will be good for youngsters people who are collecting just started collecting i think you start at some fragrance you know like if this is going to be not more than 100 is not going to be more than 35 bucks okay because this is old should be discounted do not buy like 80 dollars secure for you <laughs> you're going to regret it um, 
the projection it's really nice for the first hour when you move around you know it gives you a nice sort of aura around you and it's a little bit different than what you have in market today so it has kind of like that feel of 2000s you know like when people wore a little bit different dress and not as advanced as right now so i feel now it is the world is too fast this fragrance feels like the world will like the DJ brings back the disc, you know, like what you call the music down a little bit and you just enjoy it a little bit lower beat. So that's CQ Furia Man for you. I really like it. I think uh, this is very nice, sort of like think of this, okay? Bulgari Man, the first one, this one, uh, they are all from the same era, Burberry, my, my Burberry for men. So these are from same era, they smell like relevant to each other. So CQ Furia Man, I would suggest you give it a try and uh, it's not a must buy but it's it's it got this nice sort of a uh, presence that you don't smell in any other perfume nowadays because that the sage note is very unique in this and that mint is very crisp so after that it, it's kind of like a familiar scent but not totally uh, like savage or something like that so if you're tired of those dna's you can go back to seek euphoria for men and there are many other flankers for this perfume try them out but this is the original i'm reviewing so overall this fragrance i'm giving it for what it is i'll give it a like seven out of ten i like the smell bottle is nice affordable price tag calvin klein so that gives it one extra mark so uh it was gonna get six for what it was but for that calvin klein price tag seven out of ten thank you for watching guys i have uh the other ones i'll finish in time i'll mix it up and then we'll see how this one goes take care guys thanks for watching Bye bye